The question is concerning a question which was asked yesterday, and it was about the verse, "Adu bilam shaitan wa jinn bismillah rahim." Inna ladina amanu wa ladina hadu wa nasara wa sabiina man amana billahi wal yamil akhiri wa amila salihan falahum ajruhum anda rabbihim wa la khafun alehim wa lahum yahzanun. So. He said that some Muslims believe that this verse does not apply in the present context to the Christians of today and uh, to some Jews of today because the, some of the Christians believe in Trinity. They don't believe in Allah as, he, as uh, they should. And also... No, but who is going to judge? Allah or they? <laughs> they become Allah. That's the problem. Moreover, as if Trinity was born after Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Holy Quran is full of condemnation of Trinity. So don't they see this? It's a very stupid answer which they gave. The Holy Quran is full of mention of Trinity and it condemns it roundly and powerfully. Kabura maktana in the Allah and Tukuru Mala. Kabura, no, 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 I'm sorry, no. That's, that's a different, different one. I'll, وَيُنْذِرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا اتَّخَذَ اللَّهُ وَلَذَا مَا لَهُمْ بِمِهِ مِنْ إِلْمٍ وَيُنْذِرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا اتَّخَذَ اللَّهُ وَلَذَا مَا لَهُمْ بِهِ مِنْ إِلْمٍ وَلَا لِعَبَائِهِمْ كَبُرَتْ كَلِمَةً تَخْرُجْ مِنْ لَفْوَاهِهِمْ إِنْ يُقُولُونَ إِلَّا كَزِبًا all these verses, this and many other verses, speak of Trinity and attribute Trinity to Christians. And the Mullahs today think that the Trinity was invented after the revolution of Hazrat Muhammad. When the Holy Quran says, in Hadu, obviously Jews are mentioned. When it says Nasara, the Christians are mentioned. There is no third word for the second verse for, word for Nasa used in the Quran. So they, Allah knows what they are. Yet the conditions laid down are Amana Billahi. So among them will be many who do not believe in Jesus Christ as Son of God, but who believe in God because the Shaykh. The condition laid down is Man Amana Billahi or Liba Bil Yomil Akhir. So anyone who subscribes to these two conditions, if judged by Allah to be good, why shouldn't he go to heaven? Right? <laughs> One thing of course has to be explained that this verse is applicable to those who have not received the message of Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or received it in a manner that uh, Itmam Hujjat was not done. Different people sometimes convey the message differently and some do it so defectively that nobody can believe in such a thing. So this, I believe, is understood in this verse. That those of the Jews and the Christians and others who have either not received the message of Muhammad Wasallam or have received it imperfectly and they should not be condemned for that rejection because the message was not conveyed. Ibla was not done properly. So. The, such people are of course uh, those who are mentioned in the in this particular verse and some other similar verses because if you believe that no non-Muslim however good he may be even if he believes in God even if he believes in the hereafter even if he does good deeds can go to heaven but on the contrary he will go certainly to hell then the problem would be that a large number of humans who are good who never heard of Islam or did not hear of it properly 
would be condemned to death by God which is against justice. On the one hand, the Holy Quran demands from Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, And if you do not, فَإِلَّمْ تَفْلُوا فَمَا بَلَّغْتَ رِسَالَةً If you fail to do it, you'll be responsible. So there is no balde for so many people. No iblag, I mean, for so many people. And they are good. Why should they be driven to heaven? Not to, to hell. It's against God's justice. So these verses are very important in the sense that God is absolutely perfectly just and He will not condemn anyone to hell unless He finds him really guilty of denying Him, rejecting Him and uh, rejecting the hereafter. You understand this? Once Islam is conveyed, if Islam is known, Islam is properly conveyed, who rejects he cannot be included in this verse because then he will reject Allah. When a new messenger comes, he represents God, when knowing that he has reasons in support of him, you reject him then, that is the rejection of Allah in fact. So he will not be included in this verse then. Amanu Billahi. You understand the point? Although no prophet is mentioned here, but Allah is the key to the understanding. 